Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're talking about the Vasily Vissers. And the question is, can he ever become the best Classic Physique competitor in the world to win the Classic Physique Mr. Olympia title? I don't think he will ever win a pro show ever again. I don't think he will make it to the Olympia ever. I don't think he'll get in on points. And I think that he's highly overrated. This right here is Greg Doucette, and uh, he made a horribly wrong assessment. Less than two weeks later, Wesley won a pro show and qualified for the Mr. Olympia. In this video, he made a lot of good points, a lot of valid points. He was right about most things, really. But it doesn't really matter. In the end, he said it, Wesley will never win a pro show and will never qualify for the Mr. Olympia. I mean, that's just too much, man. I agree with most things he said when he was criticizing his physique, but hey, nobody is perfect, everybody has flaws. But apparently, at least in classic physique, I'm not sure if I can say this for the open, but in classic physique, it's not the completeness that's gonna make you a champion. If you take the current top classic physique Olympians, you will notice that the champion, the best one of them, Chris Bumstead, has a horrible back compared to them. He has the weakest back in that lineup. It's really a bad back. The lats are small and undeveloped, the same thing goes with his traps. Overall, not, not a good back, definitely a glaring weakness for him. If you look at him from the front, in the front double bicep pose, you will notice that his biceps are super short. They look like they have been injured, like he had a bicep tear, and he had a surgery, not successful one, and that he stuffed some Sintel in them. So definitely not very good biceps. And the triceps as well, there isn't that kind of a sweep because they are also very short. His arms overall are just not very good, especially compared to the likes of Brion Ainsley right here. So those are two very bad weaknesses, arms and back. And still, he wins. How? With a lot of very good points. I mean, here you can see that he is the champion here. He absolutely dominates this lineup, this comparison actually. If you take a look at his legs, they are looking better. They look deeply separated. The cuts are deeper than those of Brian. He has an amazing vacuum. He has an amazing weed taper. The chest is so broad. And that's pretty much it. I mean, he has a lot of good, good points. Very good points. He's also tall. And he is sharing some of those strengths with this man right here, Wesley Vissers. Now, Wesley's problem, the number one problem that Greg Doucette the actually said in his video, one of the problems that he said was the conditioning. And I agree with that, absolutely. I have been criticizing Wesley heavily before, but I never said that he has no potential to become one of the best classic physical Olympians. However, I said that he actually has the potential to be one of the best guys up there. To say that a bodybuilder will never achieve something because he has no conditioning, it's really, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because conditioning is something that can change in a couple of months. It's not like this guy has no legs because that's a weakness that he has, and bringing those up is gonna take a long time, and probably he will never have great legs. His lats are high, but not in the back double bicep. In the front double bicep, it's pretty visible. So that's also something that he can never fix. That's gonna be his weakness forever. So legs, leg separation, high lats, and a couple of other things that are not that visible. Uh, Greg Doucette also said that his vacuum is not very good, and yeah, it's not as good as Chris Bumstead's, but uh, his abs are not also very good. I think his vacuum is better than just flexing the abs. Other than that, he has a lot of good points. He has an amazing set of arms, very full and big arms. His chest is also looking very good. But what he has, what makes him so special, not only that he resembles Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's also his lines, his structure. And the veins on proper places, the striations that he has on his body, he really has a special physique, very unique and beautiful physique. He has those full, long muscle bellies, the separation is there, he needs to grow the legs and uh, he'll probably never be able to fix those high lats, but other than that, he's very complete. He just needs to get peeled, you know, peeled to the bone, shredded. And I can easily see him cracking the top six at the Mr. Olympia at least, and probably, actually, eventually, even winning the Mr. Olympia Classic Physique. Yeah, I think so. I think that this man right here has the potential to be the best Classic Physique bodybuilder in the world. I do think so, because his physique is very unique, very special. When you take a look at something like this, can you say, well, his lats are high? Come on, dude, I mean, look at his physique. 
This is like a Greek god statue. You cannot ignore this kind of muscle bellies, this kind of shape. This is beautiful, this is so symmetrical. He is not looking like any other bodybuilder, like any other physique competitor. Come on, guys, let's be serious here. Do you have the eye for bodybuilding or not? If you take a look at this, you must be amazed. Because this is a special physique. And classic physique is a special division for guys like this. Once he gets his conditioning on point, and once he improves his legs and a couple of other things, obviously his high legs will stay there, just like Chris Bumstead's back is always going to be weak and his arms are never going to be great. So let's leave that. High legs are going to stay there. Once he improves his legs and once he comes completely conditioned, he will be attracted to the title, to the Mr. Olympia title. He did improve his legs, they looked a little bit bigger and more separated as well. And he was overall more conditioned. So with that kind of shape, I mean, this lighting here was horrible. He was much better than, than this, really. If the lighting was better, he would look much more impressive. But you can see the conditioning that he's improved. And so he won the show. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He proved guys like Greg Gusset wrong. Wesley actually said, and by the way, Greg Gusset didn't know how to pronounce his name. I think he said Wesley Weissers, but his last name is Weissers. So, uh, he said that he, he doesn't want to grow his legs too much, because that's not how he wants to look like. But he also didn't want to get uh, shredded, because he also doesn't want to be too shredded, you know, too conditioned. He wants to look like the guys from the 70s, like Arnold. He realized that that's not going to make him a champion, and if he wants to compete, he needs to follow the rules that the judges are setting. He needs to be more conditioned, and he needs to grow his legs. He got conditioned, more conditioned than before. And he actually won the show. He performed better. He got a better result. And also his legs grew a little, but they still need to grow a lot more. And he's actually under the weight cap, so he has a lot more room to actually trim the fat down and the water and to grow some muscle. Where? Well, obviously, in the legs only. His upper body is perfect. It's ready to go. In this shot right here, you can see that his back is more conditioned than before. You can see the conditioning right there in the back. His back looked pretty dry, right? The lower back, the upper back, the entire back. And those high lats are not even noticeable in this pose. His back just looks very good, much better than Chris Bumstead's. But you can notice the legs. The legs are just too small. If he actually manages to add an inch or two to his legs, he will do much better in the future. And I definitely do see Wesley Wissers cracking the top 6 at the Mr. Olympia in a pretty near future. And if he improves his legs, and if he you know, gets completely shredded, I can even see him winning it. But that's a bit of a long shot. By this pace, the improvements that he's making every year are pretty significant. So I think in a year or two, he will be in the top 6 at the Mr. Olympia. Will he ever win it? Well, that's a, that's a tough question to ask. That's a tough question because Anything is possible. Who knows how the other guys will improve? Will somebody better show up? Will he improve a lot? So it will depend on so many factors, but I think the possibility is there. I think he can do it. Unlike Greg Doucette, who doesn't think he's even gonna win a pro show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia, which already obviously happened. So he was very, very wrong about that. So once again, I think Wesley has a special physique. I think he's absolutely suited for this division. And I think he will thrive in this division in the following years. What do you guys think? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe. Thank you very much guys for watching. All the best and bye bye.